Hey there guys, Misty here from the Dolly Fit Elf. Welcome to the first five cards in my 10 cards one kit for the August 2018 Paper Pumpkin. Before I get much further, I apologize. This video is really shaky and I'm gonna have to adjust my tripod because I thought it was moved away from the desk, but obviously it wasn't. So for every single card in this video, all of the inside layers are four by five and a quarter and all of the outside layers are either, are four and an eighth by five and an eighth and then four by five and a quarter. So for this card, it is a repeat of one I made just a couple of weeks ago. I really loved that bridal card that I made with the, I think it's called Poppy, no, Poppy, <laughs> Petal Promenade. I think that's what that paper was called. So anyway, I'm using my Stamparatus to stamp the bride in the middle of this floral using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And um, for all of the cards, I cut them down an eighth of an inch on each side so they would be even at four by five, five and a quarter and kind of center that floral in the middle. So I am using Rich Razzleberry and I've stamped the congratulations sentiment onto one of the labels. And I'm gonna be coloring this image with my Stampin' Blends. Now in the past, I would use pumpkin pie and bronze to make a ginger, but we had dark Cajun, excuse me, dark Cajun craze that's gonna be available in the holiday catalog that allowed me to create a redhead. And I actually love how this turned out. So I'm using Ivory for the skin and then I'm gonna bring in Rich Razzleberry for the flowers and then I'm gonna bring in Flirty Flamingo for the dress. I wanted a light pink dress for her. And unfortunately, Flirty Flamingo, this is the lightest it gets, but I'm gonna bring in my color lifter and I'm gonna lift, or actually it's pushing some of that color into the paper, that way it lightens up significantly. And I really love this image. You guys that have been following me for a while know that this isn't my normal stamp, like my normal style, but this bride and this um, this stamp set and the, the bride and the mother, expectant mother, especially are two of my favorite images. They're so pretty. I'm gonna pop up the sentiment um, using the dimensionals that came in the kit. And then of course, it can't be a bridal card without some shimmer. So I'm gonna add some Castella, and that's it for card number one. For card number two, I'm gonna bring in one of the stitched labels from the Blended Seasons bundle, which is still available as of today. Um, and again, I'm gonna cut this card base down to f just a layer that's four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna adhere this to a piece of old olive that measures five and a half by eight and a half that I've scored at four and a quarter. But first I'm gonna add it to a piece of um, Rich Razzleberry. I forgot that part. <laughs> I just watched this through. You think that I would remember? So I'm gonna bring in some Stampin' Dimensionals in just a second to um, pop up the um, layer after I get this adhered. I really love this bundle. This bundle, number one, but I especially love these labels because it's double stitched, and you'll see that when you see the picture in just a second. Not only is it stitched on the card, but it's also stitched around the label. So I'm gonna bring in my Blackberry Bliss and stamp the thinking of you sentiment. And I'm gonna add that directly down. And of course I need some gems. I'm gonna add two of the clear faceted gems to this and that's it for card number two. Again, you're gonna see that stitching detail. I love it. <laughs> I really love how this one turned out. For card number three, I'm gonna be using a basic black card base that is one of the colors that are in, that's in this kit. If you missed my unboxing on Monday, it's Blackberry Bliss, Lemon Lime Twist, Flirty Flamingo, and Old Olive, but also there's also basic black. Um, some of the flowers are very similar to um, Rich Razzleberry. That's why I brought in some other colors to go along with this. This designer series paper is one that's gonna be available in the holiday catalog. Um, I will try to remember to link it down below. Of course, that won't go live until September 5th, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. <laughs> but once I adhere all those layers together, I'm gonna go ahead and add everything to my card base. Um, I am just using the um, back of the cards for the inside of the card bases instead of getting out my Whisper White. 
Now I'm going to use some old olive ink to stamp the sentiment. This is the sympathy sentiment. I really love this one and I love how classy this card looks because it's, it's beautiful, but it's not, you know, fussy or overly feminine or anything like that. I think it's just the right balance. And to finish it off, I'm going to add some of our rhinestone jewels, three at the top and two at the bottom. And that's going to be it for card number three. These cards this time or this video are really easy. I haven't made the cards for Friday yet, so we'll see how we do. <laughs> for card number four, I'm going to be using this envelope. Five of the envelopes have the splatter pattern in Flitter Du Flamingo, and five of them have Old Olive. So I went ahead and cut that envelope down to four by five and a quarter. Then I have a piece of Old Olive. Again, that's an eighth of an inch bigger. And then my card base is Flitter Du Flamingo that measures four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. So I'm going to get everything adhered together using liquid glue. I've been using liquid glue and dimensionals throughout the entire video. The dimensionals um, come in the kit. Glue dots also come in the kit, but um, I like to use the glue dots that come on the roll instead. So I'm going to add some of the flirty flamingo twine. This will be the first time I've used it. And I always adhere ribbon, etc., using washi tape. It's just easier for me. So I'm going to wrap this around three times and then I'm going to trim it off and then I'm going to tie a bow. First, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card base using dimensionals just because um, that twine bumps it up just a little bit. You absolutely don't have to use as many dimensionals as I do, but I don't want it going anywhere. Speaking of going anywhere, if you're interested in any of these cards, they are available for sale. Just let me know. So I tied a bow using that twine and I'm going to add that to our center or excuse me, our, um, twine. <laughs> so I used the smallest label from that blended seasons bundle and I'm going to, um, and I cut it out of the white and I'm going to be stamping that same sentiment using flirty flamingo. Once I've done that, I brought in my old olive marker stamp and blend so I could color some rhinestones so I could add those to this, um, card. So again, really simple, really easy, but I think this is a really nice sympathy card. And last but not least, we're going to make a thank you card. So I brought in the thank you thinlet that's in the annual catalog, and I'm going to cut that out using a piece of Blackberry Bliss. Um, here you're going to see me trim it down because I don't like to waste any. And then I'm going to bring in my... Um, adhesive sheets. This is the easiest way to do when you have thin die cuts um, and I actually remembered so props to me for doing that. <laughs> so I'm just trimming that off. I'm going to peel off the top layer and I'm going to adhere this piece and then I'm going to put that thank you right on top and I'm going to die cut it. Here I'm bringing in a piece of lemon lime twist that's five and a half by eight and a half and I'm of course I'm adding all my layers per usual. I wasn't sure how much I would like these two colors together, but I really do like this combination. So really, really pretty. To me, the pattern in the paper or on the floor, excuse me, floral looks more daffodil delight rather than lemon lime twist, but you can see there that it's just so pretty together. So once that's cut out, I'm gonna punch out all the little things. You could use your dye brush if you wanted to, but I decided just to use my scissors. And then I'm gonna add some Wink Estella. Um, I did this off of the card because the last time I did this, um, it actually um, picked up some of the color from the paper. So, I mean, it wasn't much, but it did. So I'm gonna put that down and then I'm gonna bring in some more rhinestones. And that's the first five cards, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. All the supplies along with the coordinating blog post will be linked down below. Um, yeah, so make sure you're following me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I will see you guys on Friday for the next five cards for this kit. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.